Hi guys, welcome back to Aviation 747. In today's video we're going to be doing part 2 on how to build a 1 to 200 scale stand, kind of display stand for your 1 to 200 scale model. So here I have actually finished mine because if you remember in part 1, which um, you can check out on my channel, we, um, we nearly finished it, it's just um, I was waiting for it to dry. And, um, yeah, I just wanted to get the video out, so I start decided to split it in two parts, but, um, yeah, so now we're going to be going on to part three, which is the final part, which is, um, kind of drawing or painting the board, whatever you want to call it. Um, sorry about the camera, if it'll focus, then you can see it. Okay, there we go. It's kind of focused now. Um, but yeah, today we're going to be going over uh, just painting the um, board. So in um, the first video, step one was just cutting the cardboard. Step two is painting it um, this kind of grey. My camera just doesn't want to focus. Um, so I'm sorry about that. But um, yeah, so part two is just painting the board this kind of grey colour and part three is doing all of the markings so you just want to grab either two felt tip pens or two paint pens or if you have good ones maybe two colouring pencils would work but you're going to need a yellow and a red so firstly you want to do the red so you just want to if you're going off the same size as mine you'll want to draw this kind of red line up to here, 20 centimetres. Um, and you also want to um, come in 17 and a half, uh, sorry. Yeah, 17 and a half centimetres. And then you want to go a centimetre to either side and just uh, mark it there. Then you want to connect the um, 16 and a half centimetre uh, dot uh, you just want to draw a nice line to there uh, and then you just want to do the same on the other side so again 20 centimeters 16 and a half connect um, and then once you've done that you want to find the 17 and a half centimeter on this side and this side and you just can put a little dot um, there to remind you and then about about two or three centimeters in you want to draw this like almost a T shape. Um, so then that's the kind of draw this T here a centimeter and then draw a two centimeter two centimeter line down and then you want to bring that line all the way down to here where your seventeen and a half centimeter marking is. Uh, and then two centimeters from this line you want to draw another line. And then two centimeters again you want to draw this other line and then over here you want to um if we'll focus there we go you just want to keep drawing these oh yeah you want to um do the red border first and then you just want to keep drawing red um lines parallel to the first one and then yeah, once you've done that, you have finished your board, so um, congratulations and go and put it on your 1 to 200 scale um, model. So if we come over here, here we have my Finnair A350. So we just want to put that on the floor for a second, and then we are going to just put that board there and then you're going to grab your model again and then you want to line it all up however you want to um, and then actually my wheels have just come off from the magnets but there we go once they're back on and there we have it there is the 1 to 200 scale uh, stand display stand for your for your aircraft so I'll just give you a few 
angles of it. So here's the side. Here's a kind of back view. I'll just spin it round like so. Here's the kind of back view. Here's a back side angle. Um, and then if we spin it round again. Okay, I'll just fix that. There we go. Here's a kind of side front angle. Um, here's the front. And then we have another angle there. And the other side. So the top is, I think, the best one because you get to see the plane and the board, all of it. And you can see we've drawn our lines centrally, so everything should line up if you've done it correctly. You can kind of, you know, change the markings up a little bit if you want to, but this is just off of my example. Um, you know, you could do as many of these as you want, and you could change the markings, because all uh, airports around the world have different markings. So, you know, some might have white there, some might have a white everything minus the yellow line I think the only thing that they all have is that kind of white line running through the center uh, sorry yellow line running through the center but you know everything else you could change the colors you could change the um the outline design kind of thing you know you could really customize these however you want um you know and do as many as you want differently or if you have like five aircraft, you could just do five of the same. And um, yeah, if you want to do this for one to four hundred scale models, uh, just half all of the following measurements. So thirty-five centimeters by thirty-five centimeters, and then this line comes up to twenty centimeters. Uh, then we have a three centimeter line there. And then 20 centimeters again and obviously that yellow line is 35 with centimeter kind of crosses with two centimeter spacing so just if you want to pause that there and just write all those down then just half all of those and you've got yourself a 1 to 400 scale one so um yeah for the gray paint i used uh b and q I think it's um, mid grey paint, the same as my uh, model airport, uh, one to four hundred scale model airport. Which, by the way, an episode will come out that soon, and we'll cover all the runway markings. But for now, we're focusing on this. So yeah, mid grey B and Q paint. That's not going to be useful if you live anywhere else apart from the UK. But yeah, there there it is. The um, one to four hundred scale display kind of gate i mean one to 200 scale display gate uh, yeah thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye